will explain lambda functions and how to use lambda functions to sort a list. So let's start with the basics, lambda function. Lambda function is uh, an inline function, which is anonymous, it doesn't have a name. And uh, it's a reusable function, which typically gives back an expression. I think it only gives you back an expression. So let's uh, start with the keyword lambda. So that'll uh, start with defining your lambda function. Uh, it has a parameter, so let's uh, call it x for now. And uh, then what does the lambda function do? Let's say simple thing is x plus one, right? So you're done with the lambda function, let's do this. <clears throat> oh, okay, it did something. Let's uh, give it, an, uh, give it uh, assign it to a variable for now, right? So now this is a lambda function which can be invoked. So I'll call x2, let's try that and try this. And it has done something. So basically the uh, argument passes two, it is treated as a parameter uh, and you get two plus one, this is three. So that's as simple as uh, it can get. A lambda function has been defined in Python. Now let's add some code for uh, creating a list. So let's call it my list. <clears throat> Apparently, I had this created somewhere. Okay, my list, and let's uh, have some dictionary objects inside it. So let's create some dictionary objects. Uh, let's uh, have a key called name, and then um, call it, you know, uh, Tim, comma, and then also let's have uh, a numeric value which we can use to sort by. So let's say count is count as two, and um, let's I think that's it for this dictionary object. So let's copy this again and again and change the name and count. I'm gonna use the count to sort later. So let's make it as, uh, make it different in this list. So let's say five and then this, let's make that three or, uh, and then change this to Tom. Let's change this to, uh, joy or Joe. Okay, so so let's see if I can, let's see if the list can be created. Oh, something's wrong here. Name is not defined. Oh yeah, obviously I have to give the name uh, within quotes if I create the dict dictionary object. So and count should be in quotes too. Name <clears throat> and count. Yeah, uh, should have done this first before I copied and pasted it. Okay, let's try this again. Let's see if it's defined. Yep, looks good. Now let's see how I will add um, a sort, uh, uh, call the sort method within the list. So sort has what? It has a key um, and then it has the you know reverse parameter, so which is either false or true. I'm going to go true on that. So let me, and then I need the key. Now this is where the lambda magic happens. So I'm going to use key. So key equals, and then I'm going to create a lambda function. If you remember, the lambda function has a keyword lambda, the uh, uh, the parameter, and what happens within the parameter parameter. So here I need to get the count from this dict object and to get the count it's uh, let's start with that body part of the lambda function it's really uh, that object I can call it whatever it is so let's say x like I did before and then I put in count so let's say count and I call the count and but it's preceded by the lambda uh, definition so lambda 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 and then I say x, which is the parameter, right? And uh, and then get me the count from the dict object of dictionary. And then I want to do, uh, what was the key again? Reverse, I think it is reverse. I forget what it's called, reverse. Yeah, it is reverse equals. I need to do the reverse order. So I want to go from the highest value to the lowest value. So reverse is true. Okay, let's try that. Yeah, it's, it is working. So let's uh, let's see if I can print my list now. My list, right? Let's try what it is. Uh, so if I have it two, five, three, I should get five, three, and two, right? So let's try that. 
and that's that's working so I got this ordered in one line so that's the power of the lambda function again I can easily instead of calling another function or finding an object it goes and finds me that that uh, inline function super easy to read I mean once you understand what a lambda function is it's easy to read and I can do a sort of a list which had a dictionary objects with a key in it right a key inside this so let's try this with a false and let's see what happens here yep now I got an ordered list two five three was my input and I got a two three five as my output and that should be it on how to use lambda functions to sort lists in Python